Hey guys, what's up? It's Kat. Today I'm sharing with you another customization video on my yellow iPhone 14 Plus. This is what it looks like. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. Without further ado, let's get into it. First things first, we're going to head over to Pinterest and find our favorite photos. I like searching up aura aesthetic and then I go from there. After we find some sayings and backgrounds that we like, we're going to head over to the app Color Widgets. There are so many different free widgets to choose from on this app. I'm going to scroll down and find this one with the date. I love the cursive font. I'm just going to choose my own background to it. I like this simple one, but it's also fun. I also made the font white, which I think looks really clean. After we put it on the home screen, let's go over to the Miko app. If you guys watch my videos, you know how much I love this app. I didn't even realize they had this boba emoji until I was filming and I absolutely love it. I'm going to change it to you got this or something motivational because it's going to be on my lock screen. You guys know how much I love this next widget from the Miko app. This music player widget brings me so much nostalgia. It's just way too cute. I'm always going to have it on my lock screen. I'm also adding in this cute one with a battery and I'm changing the font to white to match the other ones as well. If you've seen my videos, you guys know how to add widgets to your home screen, but it's super easy. Just click the plus button, find the app, select the widget that you created, and there you go. I'm really liking the color scheme I have going on right now. I feel like it looks really good with my yellow iPhone and case. It really makes my day when you guys subscribe and join this community. So if you find this video helpful or really love my aesthetic, consider subscribing. The next thing we're going to customize is the lock screen. I'm really into the simple gradient lock screens and usually change them based on my mood. But I feel like this one is really cute for today. I always go for the same font. The one on the bottom left is definitely my favorite because it's so simple. Now I'm going to click on the date and change that to something that I wrote on the Miko app. I really like this one. I feel like it's cute. It just says good morning. You can change them throughout the day as well. Next, we're going to add the boba. I really like this one a lot and I'm definitely going to change out the motivational saying quite frequently so I don't get too bored of it. I'm also going to add in the battery percentage of my AirPods and that's all for the lock screen. Now we're going to head over to the quickie app and choose the large icon. There are so many different options. I absolutely love this app so much. I'm going to choose this one today and make sure you select transparent background. It always makes it look way cooler and more clean when it's transparent. Next, I'm going to select the small widgets. There are so many to choose from. Again, I feel like the QR code one is really cool and even the heart photo I really like. But today I'm going to go for the small setting one. I already have so much going on on my home screen. So I feel like this one is more simple and classic. I do not pay for these apps. I just watch the mandatory video so that I don't have to pay for the premium. Now let's head over back to our home screen and just add these new widgets in. I get questions every single day about my aesthetic and how I customize it. So I'm definitely going to be creating more videos for you guys and just doing a lot more fun customization tutorials. I'm loving filming YouTube videos. So comment down below what you guys want to see from me next. Now it's time to rearrange and play with the widgets and see where it looks best. I'm having so much fun filming and editing this today. So I hope you guys are enjoying as well. Now I'm going to go back to the app color widgets and I'm going to add in a few photos that we found on Pinterest earlier. I really like this motivational saying, what if it all goes right? So it deserves a spot on my home screen. The only thing holding you back from getting what you want is your own self doubt. I love this saying because it reminds me to stay optimistic and positive and not let the unknowns of the future worry me. We all spend a lot of time on our phones and sometimes being on social media can be negative for your mental health. So I'd love to fill my home screen with things that make me smile. Whether it be a photo from my vision board or something I want to achieve, a Bible quote or even a cute saying my grandma used to tell me. That's why I love customizing my phone and putting in quotes that mean something to me that really make my day. And this is the finished product. You can actually take out a whole page by holding down and then selecting the one you want to get rid of and there you go.
I hope you guys loved this tutorial as much as I did. As always, if you have any questions, please put them down below and screenshot your home screens and send them to me on Instagram because I would love to see what you guys create. If you have any aesthetic or certain color scheme you think I should do next, comment it below. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!